So what's the deal with Pontiac? I've heard it's making a comeback, but is it even safe to live in the city? Join me as I take you on a journey of all things Pontiac from a Pontiac resident. We're gonna talk about the good, the bad, and the in-between. But before we dive in, it would mean the world to me if you could give my channel a quick subscribe. Don't worry, you won't miss a thing. I mean, you may miss the super awesome intro that I'm dropping in right here, but nothing too important. <laughs> to Pontiac, Michigan, a city located in Oakland County, just 30 miles north of Detroit. It's a city with a rich history and a vibrant culture that has made it a popular destination for visitors and residents alike. Or has it? Pontiac was founded in 1818 and named after Chief Pontiac of the Ottawa tribe. In the late 1800s, it became a hub for the automotive industry, with many factories and plants located in the city. This led to a period of rapid growth and prosperity, with Pontiac becoming one of the largest cities in Michigan. One of the highlights of Pontiac are its historic districts, some of which have been beautifully preserved over the years. Today, we'll take you on a closer look at some of the city's most notable historic districts. Our first stop is the Seminole Hills Historic District, located in the heart of Pontiac. This district was established in 1926 and is known for its stunning architecture, which includes Tudor Revival, Colonial Revival, and bungalow-style homes. It's a residential area that covers approximately 164 acres and includes more than 500 homes, most of which were built between the 1920s and 1930s. The district has been beautifully maintained and its tree-lined streets and well-manicured lawns make for a picture stroll. One interesting fact about the Seminole Hills Historic District is that it was originally designed as a restricted community. This means that the developers only allowed certain types of people to purchase homes in the neighborhood. Specifically, they wanted to attract upper middle class families and professionals to the area. Despite this restriction, the Seminole Hills Historic District has always been a diverse community. Over the years, the neighborhood has been home to people from many different backgrounds and walks of life. Today, it's a thriving community that celebrates its history and works to preserve the unique character of the area. Our next stop is the Franklin Boulevard Historic District, which is a collection of 83 residential properties built between 1840 and 1935 that showcase a variety of architectural styles, including Queen Anne, Colonial Revival, and Prairie-style homes. Many of these homes have been beautifully preserved and restored, giving visitors a glimpse into the grandeur of a bygone era. The Franklin Boulevard Historic District is more than just a collection of homes. It's also a testament to the history of Pontiac. The neighborhood was first planted in 1837 and was originally known as East Huron Street. Over the years, it has been home to many prominent Pontiac residents, including doctors, lawyers, and business people. Now we're off to the Fairgrove Historic District. The Fairgrove Historic District is home to some of the most stunning homes in the area. Many of these homes were built in the late 1800s and early 1900s and feature intricate detailing, beautifully stained glass windows, and spacious porches. The architectural styles from the structures range from Colonial Revival to Queen Anne. The houses are all two and a half stories and uniform in scale and setback. The district is a single block long, containing 28 turn-of-the-century middle-class homes on relatively small lots. Nearby, you'll find the GM Modern Housing District. At the close of World War I, demand for automobiles exploded, and in 1919, General Motors found that it could not keep up with the demand. This was in part due to a critical housing shortage near its plant in Pontiac. Although the company could find workers, the workers could not find any housing. In response, GM established the Modern Housing Corporation, although the neighborhood declined as Pontiac's fortunes sank. It has recently seen an upturn, though. Finally, the downtown Pontiac Historic District, which dates back to the late 19th century. This district features a mix of architectural styles, including Italianate, Second Empire, and Romanesque Revival. The district is home to many of the city's most notable landmarks, including the Pontiac Opera House and the Riker Building. Unfortunately, it's impossible to talk about Pontiac without discussing its crime. The city has been listed as one of the most dangerous cities in the United States. According to recent crime statistics, the crime rate in Pontiac is higher than the national average. In 2021, there were a total of 811 reported incidents of violent crime in Pontiac, including homicides, robberies, and aggravated assaults. Property crime is also prevalent with 2,780 reported incidents, including burglaries, thefts, and vehicle thefts. The high crime rate in Pontiac is a complex issue, and there are many factors contributing to it. One of the main factors is poverty. A significant portion of Pontiac's population lives below the poverty line, and poverty is often linked to crime. 
Another factor is the availability of drugs, particularly opioids. Like many other cities in the United States, Pontiac has been impacted by the opioid epidemic, and drug-related crimes are a significant problem. The local authorities are taking steps to address the crime rate in Pontiac. The city has increased the number of police officers and implemented new crime-fighting strategies, such as community policing, to build trust between law enforcement and residents. The city is also working to address poverty and provide economic opportunities for its residents. Initiatives such as job training and placement programs, affordable housing, and small business development are being implemented to help lift residents out of poverty. In conclusion, the crime rate in Pontiac is a serious issue that is affecting the safety and the well-being of its residents. While there is no quick fix, the city is taking steps to address the problem. We hope that these efforts will lead to a safer and a more prosperous future for the people of Pontiac. Enough with the bad and on to the good. One of the most popular events in Pontiac is the Woodward Dream Cruise, an annual celebration of American car culture that takes place in the city. This event is a tribute to the golden era of American automobiles, where thousands of car enthusiasts gather every year to show off their prized possessions and cruise down the iconic Woodward Avenue. It's been said as many as 1 million people flock to the cruise each year. I'm not real sure if that's correct, but I mean, if it is, it's pretty cool. As you walk through the streets of Pontiac during the Woodward Dream Cruise, you'll see hundreds of classic cars parked along the roadside with their hoods open and engines revving. You'll also hear the rumble of powerful V8 engines and the screech of tires as cars race down the Woodward Avenue. But the Woodward Dream Cruise is more than just a display of cars. It's an opportunity for car enthusiasts to come together and share their passion for American automobiles. You'll meet people from all walks of life who share a common love for classic cars and the culture that surrounds them. And for the car lovers, Pontiac is also home to M1 Concourse, a state-of-the-art facility that is dedicated to car enthusiasts, offering a unique experience that is unparalleled in the automotive world. The facility is spread across 87 acres and features a 1.5 mile long track that can be configured in several different ways to suit various events. One of the main attractions of M1 Concourse is the private garages that are available for car owners to purchase or lease. These garages come in a variety of sizes ranging from 600 square feet to over 5,000 square feet and can accommodate everything from exotic supercars to classic muscle cars. In addition to the garages, M1 Concourse also features a clubhouse that includes a restaurant, bar, and event space for private functions. Another unique feature of M1 Concourse is its driving club. Members of the driving club have access to the track as well as other exclusive amenities such as a skid pad, autocross course, and a performance driving school. The club also hosts a variety of events throughout the year, including car shows, track days, and social gatherings. M1 Concourse is a must-visit destination for anyone who is passionate about cars. Its impressive facilities and unique offerings make it a one-of-a-kind experience that is not to be missed. Whether you're a car owner looking for a private garage, a member of the driving club, or just looking for a fun day out with friends, M1 Concourse has something for everyone. So next time you're in Pontiac, be sure to check it out. What about music? Well, Pontiac is home to one of my favorite music venues in all of Michigan, the Crowfoot Ballroom. The historic venue has hosted some of the biggest names in music, including the White Stripes and Arctic Monkeys. Whether you're into rock, hip hop, or electronic music, you're sure to find something that you love here. Art lovers will want to check out the Pontiac Creative Arts Center. This community arts center offers classes in painting, drawing, pottery, and more. It's a great place to unleash your inner artist and meet like-minded people. For book lovers, the Pontiac Public Library is a must-visit. This beautiful library is home to thousands of books, magazines, and newspapers, as well as a wide selection of movies and music. They also offer programs for children and adults, including book clubs and author talks. If you're looking for something spooky, check out the Erebus Haunted Attraction. This haunted house has been rated one of the best in the country and is sure to give you a scare. Now that we've got some of Pontiac's hottest attractions out of the way, let's talk about the Pontiac housing market. Pontiac is a city that has been experiencing significant growth and development in recent years. According to recent data, the median home value in Pontiac is $123,000. This is significantly lower than the national average, making Pontiac an affordable option for those looking to purchase a home. Additionally, the market has been showing steady growth over the past few years. When we take a look at the past five years, we can see that the median sales price has more than doubled in the city. So what is driving this growth in the Pontiac housing market? One key factor is the city's strategic location. Pontiac is located in close proximity to major job centers such as Detroit and Auburn Hills, making it an attractive option for those who work in these areas. Additionally, the city has seen significant investment in recent years with the development of new housing units and commercial spaces. 
And let's not forget about the thousands of additional jobs that both Amazon as well as United Wholesale Mortgage has brought to the city. Now, let's take a look at the types of properties available in the Pontiac housing market. There is a diverse range of housing options available, from historic homes in the downtown area to newer construction in the surrounding neighborhoods. Additionally, there are many rental opportunities available, making Pontiac a great option for those who are not quite ready to buy. Finally, let's talk about the investment potential of the Pontiac housing market. Due to its affordable home prices and strategic location, Pontiac is a great option for real estate investors. Rental properties in particular can offer a great return on investment, with strong demand for rental units in the area. With its affordable home prices, strategic location, and growing economy, Pontiac is an excellent option for those looking to purchase a home or invest in real estate. As always, I encourage you to do your own research and speak with a local real estate agent to get the most up-to-date information on the market. But guess what? I'm a local real estate agent and I actually live in the city myself, so you can totally talk to me. There you have it. The good, the bad, and the in-between. How do you feel about Pontiac? Is it a city on the rise? Could it be a thriving downtown area in the years to come? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. And if you've made it to this point in the video, you should probably also subscribe to my channel and maybe even ring that bell or something so that you get notified the next time that I drop a video. Until next time, my friends, bye!